I think the default is F and G. Uh, what if your ring finger is Wait, on what? W? Yeah, you don't want to do that. Middle finger on W for sure. Um, for relics, I think the... All right, so now we'll go over keybinds and... I think this is pretty much a PC thing only. I know that console has different button layouts that you can use. Uh, so I would definitely look up uh, a console player's point of view to see what they think is the best and why. So sorry to exclude the console people from this, but yeah, this will pretty much just be a PC portion. So for keybinds, uh, I'm actually gonna go over, movement is the big thing. You should have your strafe left and right and not your turn on A and D. I would hope nobody has turn on A and D, but if you want to turn on PC, you want to use your mouse. So for example, it's really good to just get in the habit of if I want to, you know, turn this corner, I'm just going to press W and I'll just move my mouse to turn. You don't want to go like this and then like that ever. It just slows you down. You're not facing the direction that you're turning, all of that type of stuff. So I would definitely get in the habit of trying to turn around things with your mouse as smoothly as you can. It will depend on your sensitivity and your DPI, but you can see like me doing this, even though my DPI is not that high, it's definitely going to be better than trying to, you know, do all this where I'm like keyboarding around them. So yeah, I would definitely mess with that a little bit. Other key binds that I think are really important. This one kind of just tilts me a little bit. I'll go over potions. If you have this on default, I'm going to go buy some potions actually so you can see. If you have this on default, everything else on your keyboard by default is left to right. So one, two, three, four is left to right. Your relics, I think, are based on F and G, which is left to right. And then your potions base are C and then Z, which is right to left, so. Are you serious? This is torture. Uh, if you're really weird like me and that annoys you, I would just switch those to Z and C. Really doesn't matter, but uh, it's kind of a personal tilter for me. Jump, I think, is another key that you'll see people get into a really bad habit of just spamming jump as they walk around. It can like it can hurt your ability to react to things. Say you're getting ganked around a corner, or you're getting landed on by like a Thora or a Radot. You maybe would have had time to react to that and like alt immune it or press your beads or something. But when you jump, you're locked in that jumping animation. You can't like jump and then four, for example, like I'm clicking my four button and it won't pull up the target until I land from the ground, right? So it's really good to not be in the habit of jumping all the time. I find taking it off spacebar helps me personally with that. I put it on tilde, which is just uh, next to my one key. You could try any other key. I know a lot of professional players will completely disable their jump key and just unbind it all together. The reason I don't think you should do that is if you're a dual player or there's even some spots on Conquest that you can notice, you can actually like, jump next to a wall and move your camera over it and see what's on the other side so in duel it'll be really common that you like walk up to the enemy blue buff wall while you're still in the lane and you can kind of jump up and look over the wall to see if the blue buff is up or not and uh yeah i think that alone is pretty much all the reason you need to not disable jump so i would definitely mess with that uh other characters i think sylvanas is a really good example because he's got such a tall character model and he can like go next to a red buff or he used to at, be able to on like the old map and you can kind of just jump up and like look into the gold fury pit and saves it just saves you from a lot of things so yeah i would definitely recommend messing with that zoom in and zoom out don't really matter you should pretty much always play max zoom because it'll just help you the most if i play like this i'm not going to see anyone behind me ever and it just looks super weird and yeah you don't want that definitely make sure you're all the way zoomed out other key binds, auto run. Okay, this is super, super underused. I use this on spacebar, I think by default. I actually don't know what it is on default. Maybe it's shift or something, but yeah. Auto run is really nice while you're just coming out of base or whatever, freaking, I don't know, clap your hands together, touch your fingers, I don't know, do whatever you want. Oh, it's on numlock base? Okay, there you go. But yeah, I would get in the habit, when you're walking out of base, just jump and then auto run. And you can just kind of take your hands off your keyboard and it's just kind of, uh, it's kind of nice. You can do it like while you're running around camps and whatnot. Not a huge deal, but uh, definitely nice to get used to. Other stuff, uh, fire, cancel fire, should always pretty much be on left and right mouse button. And then yeah, okay, so now we'll get into the ability keybinds, which is where stuff kind of tends to matter. So I'm actually gonna switch these myself. The idea behind this is 
you want to make sure when you're on PC that your movement is really good. So I was talking earlier about how you want to turn by moving your mouse and not by using uh, A and D to like, you know, straight side to side when you turn. Another thing that applies to is your abilities. So for example, it'd be really hard for me to move to the right and also use my three, right? Because I have my middle finger on W and I have my pointer finger on D. So it's hard for me to do this and then also press my three button. I had to like move my ring finger over. And if you just put your hand on the keyboard as I'm going through this, it, you'll like know exactly what I mean. And same thing with the other side. If I try to move to the left like this and fire my one, I have to bring up my pinky to pull up the targeter. So basically what you want to do with your keybinds is just make sure that you're putting your hands in a comfortable spot so that you don't have to keep taking your hands off WASD. The biggest one being W, because like I said, you can pretty you can do any movement you want with just W and your mouse. Like you can turn to an Awelix 3 or from a Medusa alt super quickly if you're on PC. So just make sure that you can keep your middle finger or whatever finger you use on W as much as you can. That'll help you a lot just with movement in general and playing around stuff. Um, so yeah, another alternative, if you don't like one through four, maybe you're a league player. I think they use Q, W, E, and R, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, or, you know, if you're used to another game, then you can change this up. Something I'm actually gonna change it to that I've been meaning to try is putting your first ability on Q, your second ability on E, your third ability on R, and then your fourth ability on F. The reason for this is that these are the closest keybinds you can have around your WASD. So all of my movement keys are my WASD. And then I don't have to move my fingers much at all to use my other abilities. It's one key to the right or to the left or up, whatever it is. And it's a super easy to have quick finger movement and to get back to the movement keys. Movement in Smite is a really big deal because the game is mostly skill shots unless you play something like Nuwa um, and you just press four. The game is mostly skill shots and it's really good that if you're good at juking and if you have good movement, it'll make the biggest difference in your gameplay probably over anything else. So if you're able to just move your fingers quickly and you know kind of spam your keys, I think it's a good idea worth trying. So yeah, I would definitely mess with this. If you don't like one through four, it's something that I'm gonna try myself. Um, just for the sake of me not being used to it right now, I'm gonna switch it back to one through four, but yeah. And put this back here. Relics are another thing to go over. Um, relics and Smite are super valuable and super impactful, especially from a supports point of view. You have things that can completely win a team fight for you. So for example, uh, shelling a carry right as they're getting dove and you know keep like keeping them alive and then maybe you can turn a fight something like getting a good uh heavenly off to just you know reset a fight or to chase enemies there's a lot of stuff you can do with relics and then obviously like beads in on time or aegis in before damage is really important because your relics are super important i highly recommend putting them on keys that you can get to really quickly and you don't have to move your hand much at all and you can react quickly so for me i put them on q and e because like i said it'll keep my middle finger down on uh w for the entire time and if i need to use the relic i can just quickly move either my ring finger or my pointer finger up to uh q and e and i can just kind of pop everything right away and it's a super simple i think the default is f and g uh what if your ring finger is on w yeah you don't want to do that middle finger on w for sure um for relics, I think the default keybinds are F and G. The reason I don't like that is because if you move your index finger or your pointer finger, whatever you want to call it, all the way from D to G, it's just kind of like pointless when you could have it just one key closer and then you don't really have to move your hand like that. Like if you were trying to use your three or your four ability, which is normally with your pointer finger and then also hit G, you can kind of move your hand off your movement keys a lot and it can just kind of be disorienting and you react slower, all that type of stuff. So yeah, I would try to either, maybe try Q and E. If you have mouse buttons that you really like, you could try that. I know that's pretty common. Just make sure that 
again, you're focusing on having your hand be comfortable, not moving it across the keyboard a lot. Uh, that'll really help. Uh, oh, train ability is actually a really big one as well. So the default for train ability is F1 through F4. I'm someone who has really, really tiny hands. I'm not trolling, like it's an actual problem. Like my hands are just small for my size and it's really annoying for me to reach up to F1 through F4, especially depending on your, key uh, your keyboard. That's quite big. To level up your abilities, especially because since the F row and your normal number row, they're offset, you kind of have to move your hand in this like weird diagonal fashion in order to like train your abilities. So something I like doing is just key binding them to shift and then the same key that you use for your actual ability. So let's say that, you know, I, I'm level one and I have my Serb two at one point. It's also, it's really nice that I can like hit level two and then maybe insta level my jump and then jump to wherever I wanna go and just do it super quickly. My finger stays on three the entire time and all I use is my pinky to just press shift and then level the ability I want and then I can use it. Um, and since your pinky doesn't really do anything otherwise, you can do that, so yeah. I would definitely recommend messing with how you train abilities. It doesn't seem like it would come in handy that often but if you really think about it, especially as a support, if you're playing in duo lane, if you hit level five before the other lane and they maybe didn't expect you to hit level five and you can instantly do something like blink Ares alt before they can react to it and maybe their support doesn't have beads or something, it can just get you a lot of free kills and there's a lot of situations where it can either save your life or get you a kill or just get you a small advantage. So I would definitely recommend messing with that. Another thing I like to change is the... I think it's the skill screen, the item store. I think those are the main things that I change. Um, the item store, I think by default is on I, and I really dislike that because as I was saying earlier, you kind of have to pick your hand up and move it like halfway across the keyboard and I, in order to hit that. And it takes your hand off the movement keys. You will notice a lot when you're a newer player, when you're playing against newer players, that they'll back and then they'll just be in their store shopping and you hit them and stop their back. And then they're just sitting here for like two seconds and they're just taking damage while you kill them because they have to move their hand back to WASD. So I just like to put it on H and I just, or not H, on G. Whoops, this is the right one. Yeah, I put it on G and I just hit it with my thumb or with my index finger. It's only two keys away. It's super easy. And if someone stops my back, I can react right away. I didn't move my hand halfway across the keyboard. It's just a good habit to get into. Speaking of good habits, also a good habit to not back with your store open. I know it's hard to resist, but definitely a good habit to break. Uh, and then I think, what was the other one? It was skill screen. I think this is default on K, which again, halfway across the screen. And you don't use this that much, except for when you're changing your casting types. Uh, not a huge deal, but again, I would just like to keep re reiterating. It's really good to move your hand as little from your movement keys as possible movement is a super big deal in smite and the better you are at movement the better you will be as a player yeah and if you're raging you can change vote to surrender uh you can actually just go ahead and bind that to left click uh that way you know if you're really frustrated in the game you can just go ahead and spam this and see if your teammates will let you out and that is all i have And that is all I have for this portion of the guide. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and leave a comment on what I might be able to improve and other things that you would like to see that would help you a lot. And that'll be all for this one. Thank you and have a good one. Fucking nailed that shit. You guys, you guys heard it. You seen it. Nailed it. No doubt about it. Just absolutely perfect.